Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations. <clears throat> in the last part, <clears throat> geez. In the last part, we did stuff. Now we're going to do more stuff. Fit him in square next. <clears throat> wow, that's a ping ping scooter. Hmm, the old guy's not here anymore. Drat. And I still have some unanswered questions for him. Alright, well, let's examine it. A scooter, huh? Who would leave it right in the middle of the park like this? The wheel guard and the light are busted. I guess it must have been in an accident. It's totally wrecked. Roar! I'm not going to do that for that long. It's Bowser! Jeez, man. What kind of lung capacity do you have? What are you, an elephant? Hey, what who's you... Wait. What do you think you's doing with my bike? No, I was just... Roar! You's been messing with my new ride? Is that what you's been doing? New ride is the kind of. Are you gonna pay for this? It, it wasn't me. I was just passing by. Hey, then who's the one is covered? My wait, what? Then who's the one that covered my saddle and crap? Huh? Are you's gonna pay? You's catch my drift? No, wait a sec. I'm not a pigeon. I couldn't have done it. A wise guy, eh? Not to beat you so hard, I'll feel like you were smooching the express train. Uh oh. You better watch your back. This ain't over. I'm gonna round up a group of lawyers, and then you's gonna pay. Um, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What do you say? I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Ha 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 Phoenix Wright? You saying you, Phoenix Wright? Uh, yeah, I am. So you're a wise guy too, huh? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright, the one and only. What? Out of my way, I gotta cruise. I like that guy. He, he's gone. Surely that guy wasn't my phony. Was he? He wasn't anything like me! I guess I better make a note of the scooter. Scooter added to the court record. Ka! I mean, Ka! Pathetic! Oh, it's you. A few threats from a little brat like that. And you look like a pigeon that's got seeds in its eyes. Oh, that would hurt. It would hurt anyone to have seeds in their eyes. <laughs> have you ever had seeds in your eyes? Jeez. Have you been there the whole time, then? I was in that strawberry. I had some thinking to do. Oh, I like that line. Or like he had some cowering to do. All right, let's talk to him. See what he's got to say. What you uh, try to be regular. Are you regular at that restaurant, sir? It's just that if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you filthy pigeons! You want food? Haha, -ha, take that! Okay. So he does have a cyclock. Another three. Whoopee. I knew it. This old guy's got something to hide, but what could it be? His reason for going to trade me in. Duh. Okay. So. Let's see. Well, I mean, I guess I could try pressing him. Let's see. Let's present the Magatama. See what I gotta deal with here. Boom. All right. Trebi and regular. It's time you told me the truth. Why are you a regular at a restaurant that you dislike so much? Isn't it obvious? People only have one reason to go to restaurants: to eat. To eat? Is that the whole truth? Well, what do you mean? I don't think you'd go to that restaurant for the food at all. You insolent brat, how dare you accuse me? What proof have you got? I can tell you that not that not you nor anyone else in the world would go to that place for its food because it's horrible. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the lunch menu. That's the twin tea set. The food at Trebian is terrible and expensive. You're wrong. It's cheap. Huh? I'm rich. I inherited money when I was a boy. Yes, I'm stinking rich. I haven't done a job of work a job of work since I was born, other than feeding the pigeons. What kind of what a load of crock. The taste's another story, but the price hits nothing to me. So you're saying that you go there because you've got money to burn? Exactly. I have so much cash I go for a swim in my money ball every day. Unfortunately, that's a lie. What? You don't have money to burn. You're flat broke because he was looking for a job. This is yours, right? My magazine! Why would a rich right retiree be looking for a job? 
I, 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 I was. Arg, so what? Hey, that's one. So I was looking for a job. I'm buying a lot at the moment. I need spending money. Oh? I don't go to that restaurant for food. I just go for the cappuccino. Yeah, I think you mean a cappuccino. Anyway, how much does a cappuccino cost there? Eight dollars. Those had better be some golden beans. <laughs> What's your problem? You think a poor man would, would be better off drinking dishwater, do you? Is that it? N no, I wasn't thinking that. I was wondering if the coffee there is really that great. No, it's not. But... But anyway, yes, that place has free newspapers to read every day. Newspapers? Exactly, they don't want me hanging around at home, so I go there. I'm sorry, sir. Well, there are no free papers at Trebian. Uh, let's see here. Magazine clipping. Okay, I know... Um... Profiles. Is there a profile? Maybe Maggie? Uh... Do -do -do. I don't think I have anything that proves anything of that. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have what I need to actually do that right now. So, yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, well, here, wait. Actually, let me look at my court. Let me look at the court record. Max wait, magazine. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's not what I think I need. I'm going to... I must need to go here. I'm going to go somewhere else. Not Trebian. Get out of the way. Uh, detention center? No. Um, how, let's go back to Gumshoe. Because I think I know what I need. And he has it. Dept. Hey, you're just in time. Yep. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? The lab got back to me about that newspaper you gave me. He must mean the sports paper with that memo scribal scribbled on it. So, what did they say? Did the analysis turn up anything? They said the doodle was written by aliens. I mean the victim, Glenn L., no doubt about it. I expected as much. The victim took the paper with him to the restaurant on the day of the murder. That's our best interpretation of the facts at the moment. Sports paper. Refiled. MC Bomber. <sighs> I get the feeling I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh, well. I guess it'll come back to me. Don't forget to report back to me whenever you find it in the restaurant, okay, pal? Since when did I start taking orders from Gumshoe? Although, I get the feeling there's something I need to show him. Yes. No, 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 not move. I meant to present. Okay. I love his uh, theme song. It's awesome. You got one of those aroma bottles too, huh? Only this one doesn't smell. Huh? I don't get you. This was mixed in with all the other aromatherapy bottles, but it's not the same. It doesn't even look the same. Wouldn't you agree? A Cologne bottle that doesn't smell, huh? Smells like a skunk to me, pal. A skunk that doesn't smell. Whatever. Mind letting me borrow that bottle for a while? I want to send it to the lab for analysis. The victim was poisoned, so the contents of this bottle are pretty important. Small bottle given to Detective Gumshoe. I had a hunch there was something funny about that, Chef. You suspect Gene, Mar Gene Armstrong? I've got that guy's number. I know what his secret is. That must be the same secret Gumshoe was talking about before. Alright, I guess I better fill you in on the details. About this Armstrong guy's secret, I mean. Alright. Ooh, and we get the dramatic music. Armstrong secret. So what's Mr. Armstrong's secret? That he's the strong arm alchemist! Oh, anyway. <laughs> You ever had lunch at Travian, pal? Um, yes. So, how was it? To put it nicely, it was inedible. <laughs> hey, don't worry about being nice to the me, pal. You and I both know the reason that place is so empty is because of the food. I mean, the place is clean, and he's got a girl like Maggie as a waitress, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably the food. The real scoop on the guy is he's up to his ears in debt. Really? How much does he owe? This is a copy of his loan contract. He's about half a million in the red. Half a million? Are we talking dollars? Yeah. Hey, if it was sterling, he'd really be in trouble. Sorry, that figure just took me by surprise. Yeah, this case is full of surprises. And I'd be willing to bet that Chef's got something to do with most of them. That's my hunch. Gene's loan contract. Yay. All right. I do believe that is all we need from you. So I'm going to move. I'm getting out of here. Going to an apartment. Anyway. Let's go back to, um... What's his name? 
Let's go find Victor Kudo. I think, do we know his name yet? Or did I just spoil it? I think I might have spoiled it. <laughs> this guy's name is Victor Kudo. Whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this again. All right. Ba -ba -ba Boom. All right. Yeah, yeah, Travian regular skipping. You don't go there for his food because it's horrible. You don't have money to try broke because you're looking for a job. <laughs> Shatter. Okay, no, it's not. But. But anyway, yes, that place is free newspapers to read every day. Newspapers, exactly. It doesn't because. Uh, sports paper. Left by the victim. There you go. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a newspaper I found behind the magazine rack at Trebian. So? What of it? This was the only paper there, and it's dated more than a month ago. Wha what? Do you see what I'm getting at here? The restaurant doesn't get newspapers. This is just one that a customer happened to leave behind. Ah! Arg! Shatter! Yay. Tell me, why are you so determined to hide the truth? I I'm not hiding anything! Uh, I'm gonna have to put this guy out of his misery. Listen. The real reason why you go to so much trouble to... Wait, 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 what does it say? The real reason why you go so much to Trey BN... <laughs> Jeez. Is... I know. It's because of Maggie. Wh what are you asking me about that girl for? She was the waitress at Trey BN. Ah! Therefore, the answer to the mystery of why an old man would drink expensive coffee at a terrible restaurant is the waitress. Arg! But, but I don't recognize that face. And you're probably telling the truth here. Because you weren't looking at the girl's face. But at her outfit. Gulp! <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? You became a regular at the restaurant because of the waitress's uniform. That uniform is all you can think about, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't take it. To you, that waitress was your... Enough! Please! No more! Stop saying that word! Stop saying waitress! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Waitress! 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 <sighs> what are you gonna do about it? Rudolph. Trabian regular. Uh, sir? Yes, it's true! I was there for the young girl! Fine, so I'm a dirty, wicked, sinful old devil! No, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. I even got one of those lousy cups of Jaffatino every time for eight dollars! All because of the serving girl! Punish me! Lock me up! Really, that's not what I'm here for. You'll be the same! Another twenty years and you'll understand what it's like! You'll know how painful it is for, to be an old man like me! No, really, listen, sir. Stop calling me that! I have a name, you know, boy, so you should show some respect, hmm? I'm Victor Kudo. There we go. See, I only spoiled like, fifth, like five minutes ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Kudo. You young ones think you know it all, don't you? Well, I'm not saying another word. I won't tell you anything more. This guy was in the restaurant at the time of the incident. Which means I have to hear his testimony one way or another. Hmm. I don't believe this. I even broke his psych lock and everything. I guess I'll have to try to get him when he's in a better mood. Uh, okay. Um, I guess we'll leave. <laughs> JBN. Um, did, I, I don't know. Let's see. Maya wouldn't know anything about it. I guess the only person that I can talk to right now is Gumshoe, so I guess I'll try talking to him. Maybe present his... Uh, here. Alright, do you know anything about Mr. Rudolph, the three-nosed reindeer? Oh, well, no, wait, he's only... Never mind. He looks like one of those grouchy old man types. Probably because he is a grouchy old man. Yeah. It's okay, though. I don't mind guys like that. But if he's involved with this case somehow, that's a different story. Um, sure. Here's a tip for you, pal. If you want to get information out of a guy like that, you're going to have to find his weakness and try to get under his skin. His weakness? I wonder what that might be. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Detention <laughs> Is that it? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Trey BN. Um. Okay. How? Maya? <laughs> <laughs> 
I will present you to him. You will be my offering to him. <laughs> oh, it's that old man. Is he still feeding the pigeons? Yeah, he fed me as well. Ew. Phoenix, shut up. <laughs> I got a bunch of seeds in those. I got a bunch of those seeds in my eyes. Ooh, ouch. Hey, Maya, would you mind coming with me for a while? Huh? Me? Why? There's something I really want to ask that old man. Sure, okay, I'll just get changed. No, hang on. Can't you go like that? I guess? <laughs> oh, God. I'm whoring Maya out to this thing. Um, sir? Hmm, you again? Hmm. Well, well. I see. Uh, Nick, his eyes are burning into me. It's okay. I think it's going pretty well. <laughs> Ka! Huh? You're still just a little child. Run along and play on the slide, alright? Play on the slide? Ew! Where are you, a pedophile? Ah, oh, we were so close. Just a little more and he would have spilled. Um, that should not... Really? You should not have used the word spilled. Ugh. Vision. How can we crack this guy? Um, excuse me, please, sir. Quiet. Can't you see I'm feeding the pigeon? Oh God. <laughs> Mia. Well, if you don't mind, sir, I'd really love to talk with you. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, certainly. I'm Victor. Victor Kudo. Even from the On the Grave. Wow. <laughs> On that note, we're going to end it off. In the next part, yeah. See you then.